We're here in Ballstick, North Carolina. We have about 750 students. We're close to 70% free and reduced lunch. We've had our challenges in the last few years with the economic downturn, lost our huge number of jobs and the opportunities that we're there for. Our students' parents are not there for them. Given that situation, we have to provide opportunities and experiences for our students. We have to get it right one time and it has to be the first time. We're doing more and more with fewer and fewer resources and that's where having partners I think comes in. We're very excited about our commitment to the Rural Innovative Schools effort because it provides an opportunity to demonstrate with proper supports for classroom teachers and supports for administrators and providing students with access to college credit while they're in high school. What does that look like? What examples will come out of this experience that will drive change across our entire state and ultimately across the entire country? The focus on rural innovative schools is a recognition that in many of our uh, lower income communities, uh, additional supports are required to help them catalyze the transformation of their schools, to build partnerships to colleges and universities, and to have a very deep focus on supporting teachers to be able to do the good work we know they can do. For two years, we've been involved with the Rural Innovative Schools Program, which has allowed us to offer additional learning opportunities, community college courses, um, online or face-to-face, -to, -face, to students in our three traditional high schools, and to provide further professional development for our teachers and leadership opportunities for our principals. I've been taking online classes since my sophomore year. And they may graduate from high school with 10 credits, 12 credits. Some of our students have graduated with 44 credits. There's not a penny out of pocket. We're able to create an environment here now and a culture that students realize the importance of furthering their education. We can feel the culture changing. How do we bring college to our kids here in these seats? We have one opportunity at Hereford County High School to ensure that when our students leave, they're going to be polished and ready for careers in college. We are engaging with business leaders coming in to meet with high school principals in the high school setting asking them to see what we're doing and to offer feedback on how we might improve and strengthen our curriculum. It is paramount in the economic development field to make sure that you understand what's going on within the schools. We talk with the business leaders and one of the questions that we initially asked was what does the ideal employee look like coming into your business? It really is about collaboration. It is about uh, the willingness to learn. It's the acumen behind that, to work in teams. That's the kind of thing that, that they're really looking for. Once I graduate high school, I do plan on going to college. What I want to do, I really want to study abroad and obtain my master's in Asian studies. And they're discussing what can I do, how can I get there, what do I need to do, and it's, it's almost like there's a, uh, an insatiable desire that is not being met anymore simply by crossing the stage and having the diploma. I'm prepared for my future. I'm prepared for life. My success starts now.